Hey guys, this is Manshark Sub LPs. I'm Sub, this is Crusader Kings 2, and this is episode 48 of our Long Live the King playthrough, where we are Filkia Sigidar Ring, as usual, the cancerous, insane, depressed, etc, etc, etc. Uh, we're not at war with anybody, but that's going to change as soon as our paycheck comes in, this being our paycheck down here. Um, we need to just head up to Genoa to just complete that. Now, I did look up Crusade Weights, so let's get this going. I did look up Crusade Weights, and unfortunately, it looks like we're probably going to be the target of every goddamn Crusade from the Catholics uh, for the rest of eternity. So how this works is there's just a list. Each one of them has a number assigned to it. Um, the highest number is generally the one that the Pope will declare on. So obviously, the first thing that the Pope will declare on, if it's held by a non-Catholic for the Crusade, is Italy. Or in this case, it would probably be Lombardy. Because Italy isn't quite formed yet. Uh, then Lofringia, which is up here. Then Germany. Which, this article is obviously out of date, but Germany would be Saxony and Pomerania. So, um, bad news. I mean, I thought maybe he'll go for Jerusalem. Jerusalem is really low down on the list. Like, it's only got a crusade weight of 250. Ireland has a crusade of 300. Scotland's 300. Wales and England also 300. Um, Jerusalem's... Five, actually, hang on. Oh, it's the Duchy of Jerusalem is 250. The Kingdom of Jerusalem is 500. So above that is the Kingdom of Frisia, the Kingdom of Croatia, Greece... Bavaria, there's Saxony. Saxony has 300 points. So above Saxony is Burgundy, Aquitaine, France, Germany, Lotharingia, and Italy. So we're pretty high up on the damn list, which is unfortunate. What's happening here? You need a guardian. Someone probably died. Looks like military life is good for you. Cool. All right. Excellent. Let's just take care of Genoa. We are acquiring loot through the loot mechanism. Almost fill up based on that. Good. That guy likes me. Yep. Y'all Striker lost his little prepared invasion because of course he goddamn did. Which has fucked over our moral authority a little bit. We've actually lost a lot of Holy Wars. Look at that. Minus 24 due to lost Holy Wars. I don't even know where that's come from. Probably these idiots just declaring random Holy Wars and losing them. Is there a level of authority? I don't think I can see it right now because, because of my tribal organization. But I think there's a level of authority which prevents them from declaring wars. Like, outside of shit. Whatever, we'll find out. Eventually. Got my concubine pregnant again. Because it's what I do. Come yeah, on. This really should fill us up. Yeah, I believe it has. It has. Alright, boys. Let's head home. And home this time is up here. Go for it. So that's a big paycheck coming in. For our uh, tourism industry. I've actually got a claim on the Kingdom of Pomerania. For who? Just one of these two guys? These two losers? Yeah, whatever. I've got better wars to deal with. This guy is winning his war. So what I'll probably do when I get around to it... I mean, we'll have to check it when we get our levies back. Hang on. You want control of Kemi? You can have control of goddamn Kemi. I don't give a shit. You should have control of it, then you should have control of it.
Oh, that's unfortunate, isn't it? Looks like somebody wanted to do some mowing outside. Well, we're five minutes in, so I'm just going to have to hop up for a second, so excuse the non-interactive nature of shit as I just close some windows because that is a really loud mower that has just occurred. Dun, dun, dun. Come on. I have to fucking prance around my room to get all this shit closed. Prance may be the wrong word. Climb is probably a better word. All right, let's get back to it. As I slowly go mad from oxygen deprivation. Oh, what did you do, you fool? You're doing something. You own Jilland and Schleswig. See, I don't mind you, though. I mean, you're all right, so just end your plot. It's this guy that I'm concerned about. This guy that I need to deal with. Yeah, whatever. Weaponsmith built in just... I think he was trying to fabricate a claim. Well, that's fair enough. Can't fault him for that. Just stop it. Okay, here come the boats. Okay, um, as I pondered new ways to improve my realm, my court physician, Gratislava, also my wife, approaches me with an idea. It just reminds me, I need to check this. Only two new bulk concubines, we need to fix that. Um, I feel care. If you were to institute a system of provincial apothecaries, the health of your subjects would improve significantly. In turn, they are sure to be more productive. So either lose 102 gold, gain 50 prestige, and my domain counties receive a significant prosperity boost, or let them suffer. That's fine. So a land prospers, Bergenholm prospers, great. Good news. All right, let's have a look at our concubinage. So, yeah. Saba is beyond, unfortunately, beyond the age where we should keep her around. So we're going to set her aside. She's still a herdman. Let's find a new concubine. Find characters, search all gender, woman. Um, in prison, I don't think that matters. Not married, not a ruler. Don't care about that, don't care about that. Uh, adult, yeah, that'd be good. Genius. Filter by age. Got a 19 year old genius here. No, close relative, and she won't join the court either. You know what, let's just have a quick check of this one. Yep, so none of them will join court. That's all right. Rest of these are Muslim, 37-year-old, that's too old. Quick? Has it fucked up the age thing again? Yeah, it has. All right, my daughter, obviously. None of these ones will accept because they don't take concubines. That one's a prisoner. Where? Ah, Masawa. Okay. This one's alright. 22 years old. Bit of a drunk, but you know. Invite to court. Just tag you, thank you. Excellent work. And would you like to be a concubine? I'll gain 50 prestige for that. Excellent work. So that's another nubile concubine in my thing. Yep, three of them. Perfect. And I can actually untag her. There we go. And... You know what? She's a shield maiden. I'm going to make her the Mercus Martyr. So she's my standard bearer. Boom. Lots of cash. Wonderful. Um, I'm going to put down the levy and let the retinue reinforce because they are 
really below grade, if you will. Yeah, they're at about half strength. While I purchase things, I think Ostergotland was full. Yes, it was. Just is now complete or will be in a few days. Gotland, you could use that war camp. Thank you very much. Skane, yeah, you know what, Skane, we'll just leave you for the moment. And Bergenolma could use a war camp. Yep. Now, Skane, what's even left at you? Mm, a lot of shit. Let's have a look through the um, castles. Not the castles, the um, churches. Scotland is just... Scotland doesn't have one. I think Upland's the only other one there. Yep. So they could get a church. <coughs> and they will. Done. Right. Now we're going to actually go and fight someone, so I'm going to put the boats down. How's your war going, mate? 25% in favor of him. Yep. Cool. So what reasons do we have to declare on you? We don't actually have any. That's fine. What about Pomerania? What reasons do we have to declare war on Pomerania? We've got a few. So we've got the actual claims on Pomerania. And as you do, a de jure claim on this one here. That's what we'll be going to war with him for. Got any allies? You don't? Cool. Um, what about the Teutons? We've got a reason for them. Yeah, just conquest. Do you have any allies? No, and you also technically don't have a lot of dudes. Wonderful. Let's just have a look at the duchies here. So better give me part of Sorbia. Better give me the rest of Sorbia, actually. Yeah, not a bad idea. Um, kingdoms, Saxony. Just have a quick check of something here. Okay, so I don't have the right culture to actually create Saxony, so I'm not too worried about it. It will, after I occupy the whole thing, slowly fade into one of my other realms. Because I just can't make it. Alright, um, Pomerania, you're up. Declare war, it's a digital claim on Lundberg, let's go. Oh, troops. You know, I really shouldn't need to flood him. He does have a bit of prestige, so I need about, say, 5,000 dudes. What a coincidence. I happen to have about 5,000 dudes. <laughs> Alright, come on. We'll go down and we'll occupy those two and then sweep across like that. It'll be fine. All right, these guys are technically raiders. Done. Um, that looks good. Let's go. And then we're going to probably try and do something fancy on this guy. These are all his tribal vassals, right? Yeah. Good. I don't care about his tribal vassals. Excellent. This guy's going down next. And it's going to be awesome. And we can always thank the Pope for it. Cool. Yeah, this is the problem. These guys, like the Jarl of Galloway, is declaring war on the petty king of Midi. Just like this little one in here. They keep on declaring holy wars, which they're going to lose. It's a problem. It's a big problem. It wouldn't be such a big problem if we actually owned Fallen, because, I mean, we've already taken 24 points of loss there. My piety is enough to can keep things up out of that, but it's still painful. Oh, we've got Versal levels raised too long. Well, I don't care about what the goatee here thinks. Besides, this war will be done with fairly quickly. Cool. Um, so wait, who are you actually 
Prince Branislav's claim. Is that one of this guy's kids? Prince Branislav. It's going to have to be someone in your court, right? No, apparently not. Well, let's see if we can find him. Um, is there a clear button? Yep. Branislav. There we are. This kid here. Well, I mean, I'd kind of like the other guy, to, like the rebel to win, because that way we can redeclare war fairly quickly. But, I mean, we'll see how we go. Because there's always, you know, different things that you can do. Alright, let's occupy this place. Unfortunately, it's actually got a castle on it, so this will take forever. Chief Rogoland. Yeah, whatever. Don't care about you. Quick check of the plots. Oh, this one's gotten up. Who's actually imprisoning a Bohemians? Yeah, stop it. I can't have you just murdering people. So I'm going to try to kill the High Chiefess of Smarland. Yeah, you can stop that as well. Thank you, buddy. You're trying to kill Trigiv. Yeah, you can stop that as well. Thank you. Braunschweig, Normandal, and Oldenburg still. Yep, all good. Yeah, it's not going to take as long as it normally would because we've got a lot of dudes, but it's still a big castle. It's got a lot of dudes in it. That's the technical definition. Wait, are you at war with Lois Lysia as well? Huh. Sucks to be you. And how's the rebellion going? Ooh, it looks like Weimar just, um... Yeah, this guy just went... Solo. Well, good on him. So that's fucked up this guy's war score a little bit. He's only at 7%, but you know. Whatever. Oh good, we're kidnapping people. Unfortunately, they're all going to pretty much be Norse. Well, we kidnapped like 13 people. Yeah, always good to have fuel for the for the um sacrificial fires. Even if they, you know, do start as children. Badilla syphilis. That's unfortunate. Alright, we're at forty four percent, we're about to take the temple. Very good, so that's 61%. Um, yeah, let's head on over like that. Okay, we just built something in Blackinge, I think? Yeah, so now we're just waiting on more prestige for those ones. We'll probably try the war camp first, maybe. I am wishing it was a nice quick way to transfer wealth into prestige. Um... <clears throat> Oh, look, this guy is Rana as well. Wow, he just full-on defected. Cool. So he's one that I could potentially... Um... Actually, I think this one's his main holding. 
Yeah, so I'd have to own Pomerania before I could declare war on him. Or we get somebody with a Duchy of Saxony under our belt. Or the Kingdom of Saxony, which we can't get. I just remembered that. Duchy of Saxony requires me to go to war with Bohemia. Bohemia has one ally, the King of Bavaria. Down here, doesn't matter. It would probably be a holy war, so most of Catholicism would join in. Which, I mean, you know, whatever. Very good. All right, let's kick the shit out of this place. Probably not willing to uh, take the peace offer. He is not. That's all right. We'll just punch down. The French king would like Prince Gargamel of France, who is not the heir. but a brother? And not even in line to the throne, apparently. Because they're elective. I'd like to marry Ulfilde here. No, I'm going to decline that, because France has a lot of little shitty provinces spread out up here, which we might need to hit at some point. Ugh. I'm not going to raise a tribal army. But I am going to educate you in something. Stewardship, I think. And send him to the rest. It means we've got 500 prestige. Hmm. Seventy six per cent. Yeah, this town will fall pretty damn quickly. Still not willing to, yet yeah, losing but won't give up yet. Typical. Ninety two percent, buddy. He's just sent us a peace offer. And it is exactly what we want. Done. Alright boys, heading back to Altmark. Come on. Excellent. Put down as much of them as possible. Looks like we lost a commander. So we're going to need a new commander. Nobody here has siege. That's all right. I will take... You know what? I'll take Hassam. He's pretty good. And I'll put, um, Inar is already leading troops there. Put Sillin in charge there, and Inar can be in charge of the main thingy. Alright, great, boys. You can head back up to here. Uh, Lithuania, Lithuania, Lithuania. You've got 2,000 on call. You can raise a tribal army, and of course you've got all the... Actually, that's not right. He's got about 2,000 on call. He cannot raise a tribal army. And he's got all of his tribal vassals on call. Um, Jar Boulder would like this guy to serve him. Is that supposed to happen? Control the Vestfold. Yeah, you got a point, mate. Good. Another errant conversion. Okay, so what we're going to do, when we get around to it, is we're going to have a great holy war for Lithuania. We could also have a great holy war for Rafenia, but Lithuania gets us almost all of goddamn Lithuania. In fact, all of it but this bit here. And we'd actually gain the kingdom title, which would then give us Casus Belli against Poland, which we don't really need because they're Catholic anyway, but it'd be good. I mean, the other objectives are we've got a few vassals who, you know, or one vassal in particular who happens to have claims. But fuck that shit. 
So yeah, it's going to be that one right there. And that will be very good for us because we're going to win it. I just want our retinue to get back into proper place. And we'll, we'll take all of our troops out to deal with that. Okay, I would like to... Oh, hang on a second, we've got two children who need guardians. You look like you'd be good at military shit, so let's make you good at military shit. And you look like you'd be good at diplomacy shit, so let's make you good at diplomacy shit. That's a technical term. Done. All right, now I was going to have a quick look into these guys. Bergenholmer, Blakinge. Yeah, grab that one. You at war with anybody, guys? Yes. Teutonic Uprising. Okay. All right. You fuckers lose that war again. Yep, they just keep on losing holy wars. Really need to do something about that. Like, for example, win a holy war. Alright, it's a great holy war for Lithuania. The omens are clear. Felke Sigidar has declared great holy war and killing King... Algirdas of Lithuania and the followers of Laima in the Kingdom of Lithuania. All three Germanic men are encouraged to aid in the conquest of their holy places. The Allfather will strike down their Laima for the Allfather. So we've got this little banner up here, which, um, you know, basically is how we run the, the proper crusade slash Great Holy War. Right. Boom. Now, these places aren't going to have great supply limits, so I'm going to actually be running two armies. But we'll deal with that in a moment. And he shouldn't be getting any other allies, because nobody else is actually Romova. Oh, and it looks like we'll be stealing some two places of his faith. So, sucks to be your religion, mate. I mean, troops is this internal? 26,000. That's good. He is calling in his um, tribal vassals, which, I mean, of course he is. But I'm not terribly worried about them. Come on, lads. And I'll march them around for here. We'll have to stagger them at some point. What do we got? Oh, Rafika, what did you do? I mean, you're insane, but I can't let you go because I remember how hot you were. End the plot. <laughs> she was cute. Yep, thank you. Come on. Perfect. All right, split them into two. I don't want to be in control of one. Thank you very much. Uh, let's see. This army here, Hassam's in the lead. Do I want Hassam to be in the lead? We've got two planners, so we're going to be putting them in the lead. So Bjorg, Ira, and Silen are busy. All right, that's good. Um, can we host them both now? We cannot. So I'm going to send one around quickly and one around in a moment. So these guys go first. And they're moving as fast as they can because they're planners. 
I don't want to raise ships up to get them across faster because, I mean, we're losing money anyway. Hang on, you were very good at stewardship, but I think I'm going to make you... Why doesn't she like me? Oh, religious differences. I'll deal with that in a moment. Court. Mm, that's not going to be enough. Yeah, fuck off. I don't care about the ones that are in prison. That's fine. Looks like everybody else loves me. Great. I don't, don't need no haters in my court. Right, so, so far it's saying that the Jarl of Livonia is the strongest candidate. Um, let's see. Yep. Clement who prioritized to war. Okay. This guy probably needs to go. We're going to proper murder him. Because he'll get Lithuania under this particular um, arrangement. So we've got a massive plot power against him. Nobody seems to like this guy. Ah, oh, this guy's inherited a Yaldum. These places seem to be feudalizing, which is great, but... They shouldn't be able to. Cool. Okay, we do actually have a fairly sizable army down here that we need to deal with. I totally forgot to move my troops. Great. Uh, why are we taking penalties? Fuck it. Attack. Great. Move out to this one. They'll stop moving. There's a penalty in here. 11. Okay. Look, that's fine. Good. We are getting him murdered. You can actually come around like that. Uh, I'm willing to attack that one. Thank you very much. They are taking attrition. That is wonderful. I'm going to head on over here and deal with that. Put these guys there. Maybe we can catch them in a uh, little bit of a pincer. Wow, we just lost a lot to attrition. Damn it. To an attrition that we really shouldn't have. Ah, winter's come, hasn't it? Shit. Okay. We'll have to wait out the winter. Nope. Reputation ruin doesn't matter too much. Yeah, we can wait out the winter. And this guy is losing, like, a lot of goddamn troops in the meantime. There's a Livonian revolt, but it's... Oh, it's on our, um... The guy who we're trying to murder. Oh, hey, we could go through there. Where's he going? Vilnius? Right, so he's headed back in. Yeah, if we go around the coast, the coastal provinces are better. And actually, I think... No, it hasn't lifted yet. Oh, we can have this lovely lady. Well, fuel for the fire. Jeez, when is that winter shit going to go away? Yeah, we're just unlucky that we hit a severe winter. All good, though. This guy is dodging murder attempts left, right, and center. Oh, 
Okay, good. Good, he's dead. Which means, well, that'll have to refresh at some point. And you need an education. I'm thinking military. All right, let's get moving. We'll take these guys. I do want them to operate sort of in tandem, just in case. Okay, this guy inherited. Did he get a claim? Uh, he did, lame. So, yeah, Mindegas is probably it. No, Chief Devranax. Not murderable. Can't imprison him out of nowhere. 250 is a murder percent. Murder this guy. So let's see. Not inheritable. Not inheritable. And Chief Devranax. Not inheritable. Alright, we've got a little bit of um, house cleaning to do. This may make us a little bit unpopular, but I think we can take it. Mainly because I got such a massive popularity with people who aren't the guy that I tried to get killed. Yeah, pretty happy with that. You know what? We have gone way over time. It's like 37 minutes in, so we're going to call that the end of the episode. I'm going to grab some lunch and then finish up some recording. Uh, let me just grab my file. There we are. So in the meantime, I've been Sub. You've been yourselves. Later.